So we simulated a huge earthquake in the conference room with a total of 140 people, and it was a lot of fun. Okay, let's um, shift gears and let me walk you through the architecture of the demo. It all starts here with the mobile phones generating five events per second um, and taking the data from their sensors. They uh, use a key, a AWS key, that only allows them to do a put on Kinesis. Um, the application on the phone is a single page web application. That means it's serverless. It's hosted in an S3 bucket. It um, actually looks like this. And then if you shake the phone, like it, it measures the magnitude of the movement and it turns um, yellow. And if you shake it more, it, uh, it actually turns red. And the data is like transmitted like um, five times per second to Kinesis. So we have the Kinesis shot here, which, um, well, it looks like a normal Kinesis shot. Um, that's my shot. That's the name. It's active right here. It has it has one. Um, so it's a stream that has one shot. Data retention is one day. So this data is not stored forever. This is more a buffer, as I explained to you um, already. And um, going back to from Kinesis, the data is picked up with Delta Life tables. I'm going to show you this in a second. We're using Unity Catalog. It's all backed up by Delta tables. And from DLT, we do um, data analytics using Spark Structured Streaming. This is where we need to create those um, time windows. But there's also a couple of notebooks for visualization. And the question is always, is it data that is really streaming, that is live, that is visualized? And uh, very often, um, we can use live data and display it with a built-in display function. So you're going to see this. We're going to see a dashboard. And then at the very end, I want to share like the, those phones that were moving the most from AWS, um, which is where my Databricks instance is running to a completely different cloud, a completely different system, non-Databricks, just Google Collapse, and it's not even using Spark. And um, it's all Python code. So this is the code um, for the pipeline. And if we look at this, you see what I already told you. It's doing a Spark read stream. Format is Kinesis. It could be pops up. Um, it could be Kafka. We give it the stream name and the keys it needs to read from uh, this um, Kinesis stream. And then that's the core component here. We use this DLT table decorator to turn this little um, function into a streaming table. And then it goes on. We need to map the schema. Whenever you ingest from a messaging system like Kafka or Kinesis, you get a blob. You need to map it back to the real types. Then remember the second um, item that we had in the, in the pipeline was not a table. It was a view. This is how I created it. And then it goes on and on. This is the sensor table. And then at the very end, we have this materialized view. And you can see it's a materialized view because it's using the table decorator, but it's not doing a read stream, but a DLT read. Okay. And that's the code for the whole pipeline. And um, this whole pipeline, if we do the math, we had like five events per second, and that's per minute, and that's per hour, and that's per day. And then I had 140 people participating it's 60 million events per day of sustained throughput and um, there was no server it's all serverless um, for DLT and then well the question is obviously how does it look like if we um, do the data analytics and for the data analytics I have this um, this um, other notebook now this other notebook is is reading, from the sensor table. So the sensor table, which was kind of the gold table of my pipeline, comes with column, device, time, and magnitude. And we are obviously interested in the magnitude. And what I do here is I read a stream, that's Spark Structured Streaming, from this table. I need to create a watermark because I don't want to keep state forever. I don't want to wait for late arrivals forever. So I say maximum three seconds. I want to group it in windows, which are defined by the time, I want to have one second windows. For each of these windows, I average the magnitude, and then I sort the windows um, because I want to have them 
uh, in the right time. And I show the last 30 ones. And you see here, this is the data that was just um, created live. And this is where you see it um, moving through the system. And if I if I shake the phones uh, much more, I get um, higher magnitudes and it will, well, typically take a couple of seconds to trick, uh, to trickle through um, DLT and to go through Spark Structure Streaming for the analytics. And you see here is a one that I just uh, did like three seconds ago uh, coming through. Okay. There is another cool way to... Um, to visualize this and that's actually some and this is the time from left to right increasing time and you see the magnitude towards the top so that's a, a fun little live interactive um, demo of the data that i was just uh, generating 